Well, we just got a new kitten in that was apparently on the porch of somebody and there she is. She's tiny. We'll get her out in a second. All right, well, we're gonna work on hamster. Probably get some stuff through fluids and I'll figure out what we need to do. Okay. That's where you'll poop. Like, Let me no. explain some things to you. You're gonna poop in there. You're gonna eat real food. No, don't eat the paper. So I've just been sneaking in because she's starting to play. It's so cute. But if I get close, she just wants out. Already growing, little hamster. Look at her. Oh, so neat. And we're gonna get her out and treat her for fleas. One thing that people need to think about when they find little kittens like this is sometimes they're waiting for their mom to stimulate them to urinate or defecate. So you can get like a warm rag or cloth or cotton ball and get it uh, with warm water on it and stimulate them to go so that they anything? don't get blocked up. Oh, baby. Well, big, big news. You know, our little hamster, of course, you know our little hamster. Well, the same lady that found hamster found four siblings. Now we're trying to get her to find the mom because she has to be hanging around somewhere. So hopefully we can trap her too. But now tiny hamster doesn't have to be alone and that is the best. So let's put her in with everybody. Of course, they're all covered in fleas um, when we put medication on them. Okay, you're still a kitten. You're not a person, you're a kitten. They don't love us yet. She said, I'm a person. <laughs> She's like, me. That was fine. <laughs> You'll be happy to have a buddy soon. Got that little tail. Baby kitties. Cute kitties. Hamsters. I know, honey. But now you guys are starting to get friendly, huh? So we're gonna vaccinate everyone today. Our little hamster is so much smaller. Hamster, 0.59. 0.59. One point four. <laughs> Who is this one? Tabico. And then there's one that's not the Tabico. This is Tabby. Well, I feel like this is the one that we should get one on. Oh, how Man. tiny that is! That tiny little needle. Tiny little needle. We are done. Leukemia test for hamster kittens and FIV test both negative. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna look. Can help you, but this is just, I know you're not gonna let anything happen. So, there's no way this is gonna go well. Oh, you're good. <laughs> now, if there was one more, they're like, no, we all have to have the same one. You have your own. You're tiny. Busting. Dude, I want to catch them playing, but anytime they see us, they think we're gonna feed them, so they go crazy. Babies. What do you need? Thanks, you're babysitting, okay? Well, we are gonna do the Marmot Kittens vaccines. It's already time for their second round. They're 11 weeks old according to our records, but I can't even believe it. I feel like they're still teeny tiny babies, but I guess all things grow up. So we'll do their vaccines. We're gonna do Marmot first, the little baby orange boy, because he's actually in a foster to adopt home. And we haven't gotten the other ones in homes yet, but hopefully soon. Look how cute he is. Okay, bye-bye, kid. Let's see if we need to get a revolt to send home because we were all for three weeks. Like you, mine. 
Why well, you got it on me? The biggest hand okay. here. So I have that they would be able to get this. So my, why do you have it on me? <laughs> but if you do. Okay, so Bruce Wayne got in a doctor, and then when they came and met them, I am challenged right now. I'm putting these gloves on. Bruce Wayne, you can't jump. You have no, three legs. Look, I have two different sizes too. Real smart, end of the day. So um, <laughs> they came to meet Bruce Wayne and then also fell in love with Hamster. So it's a win-win because they're already bonded and Hamster's our baby. But now we have to microchip them, so. Well, you guys destroyed your area. You want to be friends with Lord B? He doesn't have any parasites anymore. Kikikikibies. This is B's first time to get out and play. It's been a long road for three weeks. Oh, somebody's wound up. This is why their cage looks like it does. I can promise you it's changed several times a day. It looks great and then looks like that. Already time for vaccines again. Okay, he's the only one that has had his property because mom reported tapeworms. Go in, little marmot. Your turkey is probably gonna be crazy. Yeah, that was one. Yeah, that was one. Two more to go. Uh oh, neuter day for the boys. Vol, Lord Voldemort, and marmot. Are such a mess. Fast forward 15 minutes, everybody's awake. Still wondering why they haven't had their breakfast today. These two troublemakers are getting spayed today. They don't look too concerned about it. True and durable, and then hopefully they might be able to go to Petco. But let's get started on your space. And Marmot, you go home. Go home. We're gonna go right here. This is gonna be our table. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh, oh. oh no. Is it no? Spray day for you. I'm headed up to Petco because we have a partnership with them now to put our adoptable cats up there. And I think it's gonna be huge for them and help them get adopted and at least get exposure. Now they can't adopt on site, but they can see them and apply to adopt. And that is gonna make all the difference as far as getting them seen by people, people getting to pet them and interact with them. So fingers crossed we get a lot more adoptions. by look at how proportioned she is now we used to kind of laugh because it looked like she had a giant head 
and then a tiny body or like just a big belly. But now look, she's all grown up. Not quite, but anyway, she's getting adopted with Bruce Wayne, one of our other patients. He's a little amputee, a three-legged cat, and they were already bonded, so it's the best possible situation. But we just wanna say thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, getting the word out. Definitely thank you to Abandon Pet Project. Um, without you guys' donations to them, we would have no funding for these cats or any of these cases. So thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next case. Bye. Are y'all playing? Don't stop on account of me. Are you being nice now after you got upset about Kiki? Hamster. Look at your friend. Hi, handsome. We're telling these two kiddos goodbye, Hamster and Bruce Wayne. Their new owner is here to get them after their surgeries. Why are you looking at me that way? He did that in the office too. He was like, ugh. He smelled like another cat. Ugh. Bruce, be nice. Ooh, you are open. You're feeling spicy today. Well, it's time to go home anyway. We love you. We love you. Okay? Grumpy. He's like, oh, if I had that other front leg, man. If I had that other front leg, I'd pack you so pack and pow, pow. All right, goodbye, kiddos. We'll see you person. Here you go. Bruce is in a bad mood. Yeah. Yes. I smell like another cat. And so he's like, oh, hi, <laughs> baby. I miss you. Oh, we missed them. They've already been playing. Like, we have good. Yeah.